Hello everyone, my name is Mogandi Pavani Subhash, uh, bearing roll number 21951 A0582. Today I am here to present a topic uh, as part of my concept video in the subject applied physics. So uh, let us share, let me share my PPT. So uh, PPT uh, PPT on applied physics. Uh, the topic of my PPT as part of my concept video is black body and its radiation. So in this uh, PPT, we will be covering about uh, how the black body is uh, created and uh, who is created and how uh, and what is its radiation. So let's move into the slides. Introduction. Uh, the term black body was first introduced by Gustav Kirchhoff in 1860. So, the term black body, that means, uh, was introduced by Gustav Kirchhoff in 1860s. Black body radiation is also called thermal radiation, cavity radiation, complete radiation or temperature radiation. So, there would be uh, four names for the black body radiation, which, which are termed as thermal radiation, cavity radiation, complete radiation or temperature radiation. Black body radiation is the thermal electromagnetic radiation within or surrounding a body in thermodynamic equilibrium with its environment emitted by a black body and idealized opaque non-reflective body. Black body radiation is a thermal electromagnetic radiation within surroundings uh, within or surrounding a body in therm thermodynamic equilibrium with its environment emitted by a black body. Black body is an opaque object, a non-reflective body, and it is made up of platinum black with a small hole on the surface of the black body. And the radiation emitted by the black body is called black body radiation. It has a specific, it has a specific spectrum of wavelengths inversely related to the intensity that depends only on the body's temperature, which is the black body temperature which is assumed for the sake of calculations and theory to be uniform and constant. Okay. So in this, in this slide, we covered the term black body uh, was introduced by Gustav Kirchhoff in 1860. Second one, black body, different names. That is uh, four different names, thermal radiation, temperature radiation, complete radiation, cavity radiation. And third point, Black body radiation is thermal uh, thermal electromagnetic radiation within or surrounding to the body therm within th thermodynamic with its environment emitted by black body. And it is black body is an opaque op op idealized opaque non-reflective body and it is made up of platinum black uh, with a small hole on the surface of the black body. It has a specific spectrum of wavelengths inversely related to the in intensity that depends only upon the uh, black body's temperature, which is assumed for the sake of calculations and theory to be uniform and constant. Next one, an object that absorbs all radiation falling in on it at all wavelengths is called a black body. The body which absorbs all radiation falling on it at uh, different wavelengths at all wavelengths is called a black body. When a black body is at uniform temperature, its emission has a characteristic frequency distribution that depends on the temperature. Its emission is called uh, black body radiation. First one, object with, uh, an, an object or the black body which absorbs all radiations falling on it at all wavelengths is called black body absorption. And black body emission means at a, at a uniform temperature, its emission has a characteristic frequency distribution. That depends on the temperature. Uh, its emission is called uh, black body radiation. Okay, a, a black body radiates energy at all frequencies, but its intensity rapidly tends to zero at high frequencies. A bl black body radiates uh, at all frequencies, but intensity should be at high frequencies. For example, a black body at room temperature 300 Kelvin with one square meter of surface area will emit a photon in the visible range 390 to 750 nanometers at an average rate of one photon, one photon every 41 seconds. Meaning that for most practical purposes, such a, such a black body does not emit in the visible range. Okay. In this slide, we covered, we covered uh, black body absorption, black body radiation at uh, what frequencies the black body emits and, uh, and, and one example. Right? 
object and object that observes all radiations falling on it at all wavelengths is called black, uh, black, bo black body. When a black body is at uniform temperature, its emission has a characteristic frequency distribution that depends upon the temperature. Its emission is called black body radiation. And third point is black body radiates at all frequencies, but uh, it intensely, its intensity rapidly tends to zero at high frequencies or short wavelengths. For example, a black body at room temperature with one square meter of surface area will emit a photon in the visible range for every 41 seconds. Introduction. A black body is an idealization in physics that pictures a body uh, that absorbs all electromagnetic radiation incident on its irrespective of its frequency or angle. In this article, we will be learning about black body radiation and some important laws about related to it. We already previously discussed a black body is an idealization in physics that picture is a body that absorbs electromagnetic radiation incident on it, uh, irrespective of frequency and angle, and, and it emits the radiation irrespective of its frequency. But the free, but at uh, high frequencies, the intensity would be zero. What is black body radi radiation? To stay in thermal equilibrium, a black body must emit radiation at the same rate as it absorbs. Actually, the main function of the black body is to absorb, but uh, to stay in thermal equilibrium, the black body needs to emit radiation. Uh, so it must also be a good emitter of radiation, emitting electromagnetic waves of as many frequencies as it can absorb. That is all the frequencies. To stay in equilibrium condition, uh, to stay in a black body must emit radiation uh, as it absorbs. So it must also be a good emitter of radiation, emitting electromagnetic waves set of as many frequencies. It takes a number, uh, all number of frequencies uh, during absorption. So it has uh, the same ability when emitting also. It can emit all the frequencies. The radiation emitted by the black body is known as black body radiation. So in this slide, we in this slide we read about a black body and what is black body radiation okay the black body observes frequencies uh, the black body observes radiations the black body observes uh, some radiations so uh, to stay in equilibrium condition the black body should also emit the radiation uh, as it absorbs all frequencies of radiation, so it can it can also emit the all frequency radiation. The radiation emitted by the black body is known as black body radiation. Characteristics of black body radiation. The characteristics of the black body radiation are explained with the help of the following laws. These three laws, Wehn's displacement law, Planck's law, and Stefan Boltzmann's law, are the three laws uh, which can which can help us to uh, know the characteristics of a black body radiation. So let's move to the first law, which is Wayne's displacement law. Wayne's displacement law states that the black body radiation curve for different temperature peaks at a wavelength is inversely proportional to the temperature. Okay. The black body radiation, the radiation curve for different temperatures. At a different temperatures, the radiation is emitted, which peaks at a wavelength is uh, the temperature or the black body curve, the depth. The wavelength of the black body radiation is inversely proportional to the temperature. Okay, Wayne's law formula. Lambda max, that is wavelength, is inversely proportional to the tem temperature and B is the constant, Wayne's displacement constant. T is the temperature in Kelvin's. Lambda max is the wavelength of the radiation and B is the Wayne's displacement constant, which is 2.8977 into 10, 10 cube meter Kelvin. And the second one is... Uh, Planck's law. Using Planck's law of black body radiation, the spectral density of the emission is determined for each wavelength at a particular temperature. Uh, at a particular temperature, black body radiation occurs. The, sp the spectral density of the emission is determined for each wavelength using Planck's law. Planck's law uh, formula is E lambda equal to 8 by Hc by lambda power phi into E power Hc by Phi kt minus 1. E lambda is the wavelength. T is the absolute temperature. And the third law is Stefan Boltzmann law. Stefan Boltzmann law explains the relation between total energy emitted and the absolute temperature. Uh, e is directly proportional to T power 4. E is the total energy emitted and T is the absolute temperature. These are the three laws which are, which are the helpful for the 
which are which are useful for the prediction of characteristics of the black body radiation here we know these are the three laws when displacement law when displacement law is uh, the wavelength is inversely proportional to the temperature lambda is equal to uh, b by t b is the uh, when displacement law constant planck's law in uh, planck's law in planck's law the spectral density of the emission is determined for each wavelength in planck's law the spectral density of the emission is uh, determined and in the stefan uh, boltzmann law is direct, uh, directly proportional to the 2 power 4 where is the uh, total energy emitted and t, t is the absolute temperature okay then displacement law example uh, when displacement law example we can easily deduce that uh, a wood fire approximately 1500 kelvin hot gives out the peak radiation at 2000 nanometer this means that the majority of the radiation from the wood fire is beyond the human size visibility this is why a campfire is an excellent source of warmth but a very poor source of light the temperature of the sun surface is 5700 kelvin using wayne's displacement law we can calculate the peak radiation output at, at a wavelength of 500 nanometer okay uh, we can when displacement law says that we can easily deduce that uh, a wood fire approximately at 1500 kelvin hot gives out peak radiation at 2000 nanometer which is uh, naked to our eye that means it is uh, uh, not visible to our human size visibility this is why a campfire is an excellent source of warmth but not the excellent source of light sun uh, light okay uh, if we burn a hot uh, that means 1500 kelvin wood fire it gives uh, peak radiation at 2000 nanometer, which is uh, not visible to our human eye. So the camper is an excellent source of warmth, but a very poor source of light. The temperature of the sun surface, the temperature of the sun surface is 5700 Kelvin. Using when displacement law, we can calculate the peak radiation output at a wavelength of 500 nanometer. Applications of black body radiation. The black bodies are used for lighting, heating, security, thermal ima imaging, as well as testing and measuring measurement applications. Since the intensity of the energy at uh, any temperature and wavelength and can be determined using the Planck's, Planck, law, Planck law of radiation, a black body radiation source with a known temperature or whose temperature can be measured is usually used for calibrating and testing the radiation thermometers. Uh, so these are the applications of black body radiations. The black bodies are used for lighting, heating, security, thermal imaging, as well as testing and measuring applications since the intensity of the energy at any temperature and wavelength and can be determined using the Planck law of radiation a black body radiation source with a known temperature or whose temperature can be measured is usually used for calibrating and testing the radiation thermometers before before concluding the black body before concluding the black body and and its radiation once uh, uh, let's check again the characteristics characteristics of the uh, black body radiation. Here, this one slide show. Okay, characteristics of black body radiation. The characteristics of the black, black body radiation are explained with the help of the following laws Wayne's displacement law, uh, Planck's law, and the Stefan Boltzmann law. So, let us briefly uh, read the three laws. Okay, first one Wayne's displacement law. When displacement law says that the black body radiation curve for different temperature peaks at a wavelength is inversely, it is inversely proportional to the temperature. That is lambda max is equals to B by absolute temperature, where B is the when displacement law constant, which is 2.8977 into 10 cube meter Kelvin. So let's move to the next law, which is Planck's law. Planck's law in Planck's law. Of black body radiation, the spectral density of the emission is determined for each wavelength at a particular temperature, which is E lambda equal to 8 by Hc by lambda power phi into E power Hc by phi kt minus 1. Here, E lambda is the wavelength, T is the absolute temperature. And the third one is uh, Stefan Boltzmann law. The Stefan Boltzmann law explains the relation between total energy emitted and the absolute temperature. 
e is directly proportional to 2 power 4 where e is the total energy and t is the absolute temperature these three laws are uh, used uh, are very helpful in the predicting the characteristics of the uh, black body radiation wavelength which is uh, which is the wavelength uh, when is in that the wavelength is inversely proportional to temperature lambda max is equal to b by t where b is the range is 2.8 and double seven into 10 cube meter kelvin in planck's law the spectral density of the uh, of each wave can be calculated using the formula uh 8 8 hc by uh something stephen boltzmann law in stephen boltzmann's law of radiation uh, the total energy emitted by the radiation is directly proportional to the t power fourth of the absolute temperature that is e is directly proportional to t power four where e is the total energy and t is the absolute temperature let us see an example of wind displacements law in uh, for example in wind displacement law we can easily reduce that a wood fire approximately at 1500 kelvin hot gives out uh, 2000 nanometer radiation. This means the, that the majority of the radiation from the wood fire is beyond the human eye, eye visibility. So that means the radiation we cannot see, which is emitted by the wood fire at 1500 Kelvin. So this is why a campfire is excellent source of warmth or heat to us, but it is a poor source of light. Whereas the temperature of the sun surface is 5700 Kelvin. Using Wayne's displacement law, we can calculate the peak radiation output at a wavelength of 500 nanometer. Applications of black body, we already read that the black bodies are used for lighting, heating, security, thermal imaging, thermal imaging, as well as uh, uh, testing and measuring applications. Since the intensity of the energy at any temperature and wavelength and can be determined using the Planck, Planck law of radiation, a black body radiation source with a known temperature or whose temperature cannot be can be measured is usually used for calibrating and testing the radiation thermometers. The conclusion is drawn from the black body spectrum. Energy distribution of black body radiation state that when the temperature of the body is higher, the intensity of the black body radiation will also be increased. As the wavelength increases, the energy emitted will also be increased. But while reaching the maximum height for a particular wavelength, it, it started to decrease. The energy associated with radiation of a particular wavelength increases with the increase in temperature. So these are the conclusions drawn from the black body spectrum. So here uh, energy radi energy distribution of black body radiation that means uh, if, if a black body is emitting radiation there would be a, a chance of energy distribution uh, when the temperature of the body when the temperature of the black body is higher the intensity of the black body also radiations also will be increased that means if the intensity of the radiation in the black body is increased uh, the radiations will also the intens uh, the intensity of the black body radiations will also be increased as as the wavelength increases the energy emitted will also as the wavelength increases the energy radiation will also be increased but while reaching the maximum height for a particular wavelength it started to decrease the energy associated with radiation of a particular wavelength increases with the increase in temperature as the temperature increases the energy associated with that radiation will also be increased of a particular wavelength thank you uh, by this uh, my concept video topic uh, in the applied physics subject is completed uh, that is for the topic black body and its radiation black body means black body is made up uh, it is an idealized opaque uh, uh, which is made by platinum black and uh, it has a small hole and the radiation emitted by the black body is called black body radiation a black body can uh, observe all types of radiations at all frequencies so as a, as it as it in a thermal equilibrium it should uh, as it absorbs all the frequencies of radiation and it should emit the all the frequencies of radiations to be in thermal equilibrium state. So, uh, by this, uh, we already revised it also. So, thank you. By this, my PPT is completed. Thank you very much.